This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I set back face masking on a brush so that it's enabled on ZBrush Launch? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I just have the demo head model here loaded in. And the question is asking about back face masking. Now, back face masking is a auto masking feature that you can assign to a brush. And to do this, we just need to select the brush that we want to assign it to. So I'm just going to come over here and select the clay buildup brush. And then I'm going to navigate to the brush palette up at the top here. I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to go down to the auto masking area here. And underneath the auto masking area, there is a button called back face mask. Now, when you enable back face masking, ZBrush is only going to allow this brush to sculpt on parts of your model that are facing the camera. So any parts of the model that are facing away will not be affected by the stroke. Now, the question is asking if there is a way to have this option to be set. So the next time I launch ZBrush and I select the clay buildup brush, that it's remembering that it had back face masking turned on. So I don't have to go back to this brush palette rotate down to the auto masking area, and then enable back face masking again. So to have back face masking always be set for a brush, all you have to do is resave the brush. And the back face masking will be remembered on that save. So if I always want the clay buildup brush here to have back face masking turned on, I just need to select the clay buildup brush, go to the brush palette, navigate to auto masking, make sure I have that back face mask turned on, and then go all the way back to the top of the brush palette, and then simply resave this file. So if I click save as, and this will open up a dialog window here. And then the next thing you want to do is if the brush you have is a default brush that loads with ZBrush, you need to navigate to the Pixelogic ZBrush 2018.1 ZData slash brush presets folder. In here will be the default brushes that ship with ZBrush. So the clay buildup brush is one of the standard brushes. So I just need to come through here and locate the clay buildup brush and then simply click save. After this has been saved, that back face mask option will now be remembered. And the next time I start ZBrush and I select the clay buildup brush, back face masking will automatically be turned on. Now, if you're using custom brushes, say brushes that you've loaded in from somewhere else, these are more than likely stored in a different directory. So these are usually stored in the ZBrush 2018, Z Startup, Brush Presets folder. So if you can't find the brush that you currently have loaded in your ZData Brush Presets folder, try navigating to the Z Startup Brush Presets folder and see if the brush is located in there. So once again, the option of auto masking back face mask will save with a brush. So if you'd like it enabled for a certain brush, just select that brush, then come up to the brush palette, go to the auto masking area, turn on back face masking, and then go back to the top and click save as. The dialog will pop up, navigate to either Z data or Z startup, and then in these folders, locate the brush preset folder here, and then in here, locate the name of the brush that you want to resave. So I'm looking for the standard brush here. So navigate down here to the S's and there is the standard brush. And then simply resave that file. And then now that back face masking option will be remembered the next time you launch ZBrush. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.